Azrain, also spelled Azrain and Azrain Arabic, MML Daura Classical Syriac, Mulku Debat Kingdom of Urhe. Ancient Greek, Azrain and sometimes known by the name of its capital city, Edessa now Sanlirfa, Turkey, was a historical kingdom in Upper Mesopotamia, which was ruled by a dynasty of Arab origin. It enjoyed semi-autonomy to complete independence from the years of 132 BC to AD 216, and a Roman province from 216 to 608, from 318 a part of the Diocese of the East. By the 5th century, Edessa had become a center of Syriac literature and learning. In 608, the Sasanian emperor, Khosrau II, took Azrain. In 638, it fell to the Muslims as part of the Muslim conquests. Kingdom Azrain, or Edessa, was one of several states that acquired independence from the collapsing Seleucid Empire through a dynasty of the nomadic Nabataean Arab tribe from southern Canaan and North Arabia, the Oroi, from 136 BC. Its name derives from Azros of Urhe, a Nabataean king, who, in 120 BC, wrested control of the region from the Seleucids in Syria. Azrain endured for four centuries, with 28 rulers occasionally named king on their coins. Most of the kings of Azrain were called Abgar or Manu and settled in urban centers. Under the Nabataean dynasties, Azrain became increasingly influenced by Syriac Christianity and was a center of national reaction against Hellenism. It was in the region in which the legend of Abgar v originated. Azrain was absorbed into the Roman Empire in 114 as a semi autonomous vassal state, after a period under the rule of the Parthian Empire, incorporated as a simple Roman province in 214. There is an apocryphal legend that Azrain was the first state to have accepted Christianity as state religion, but there is not enough evidence to support that claim. <laughs> Roman province The independence of the state ended in 216, when it was incorporated into the Roman Empire. It was a frontier province, lying close to the Persian empires with which the Romans were repeatedly at war, and was taken and retaken several times. As it was on the frontier it had a Roman legion stationed there. Legio III Parthica and its castrum home base may have been Racina, but that is uncertain. Following Emperor Diocletian's Tetrarchy reform during his reign 284-305, it was part of the Diocese of the East, in the Praetorian Prefecture of the same name. According to the late 4th century Notitia Dignitatum, it was headed by a governor of the rank of Prezes, and it was also the seat of the Dukes Mesopotamia, who ranked as Vera Lustris and commanded c. 400 the following army units Aquites Dalmatae Illyriciani, garrisoned at Ganaba. Aquites Promoti Illyriciani, Kalinicum. Aquites Mauri Illyriciani, Dabana. Aquites Promoti Indigene, Banasum. Aquites Promoti Indigene, Sina Eudorum. Aquites Sagittari Indigene, Oraba. Aquites Sagittari Indigene, Thilizamana. Aquites Sagittari Indigene Medianenses, Mediana. Aquites Primi Osrini, Raisin. Prefectus Legionis Quarte Parthasi, Circesium. An illegible command, possibly Legio III Parthica, Apatna.as well as, on the minor role, apparently auxiliaries. Alla Septima Valeria Praelectorum, Thilicama. Alla Prima Victoriae, Tovia Contra Bintha. Alla Secunda Paflagonum, Thilifica. Alla Prima Parthorum, Rezea. Alla Prima Nova Diocletiana, Inter Thanarin et Horabam. Cohors prima gachelorum, Philomana. Cohors prima euphratensis, Marada. Alla prima salutaria, duodecimo constituta, according to Sozomen's ecclesiastical history. There were some very learned men who formerly flourished in Azrain, as for instance Bardazin, who devised a heresy designated by his name, and his son Harmonius. It is related that this latter was deeply versed in Grecian erudition, and was the first to subdue his native tongue to meters and musical laws, these verses he delivered to the choirs." And that Arianism, a more successful heresy, met with opposition there. In Roman sources 
In his writings, Pliny the Elder refers to the natives of Azrain and the kingdom of Comagene as Arabs and the region as Arabia. Abgar II is called an Arab Philarch by Plutarch, while Abgar V is described as king of the Arabs by Tacitus. According to Pliny, a nomadic Arab tribe called Oroi occupied Edessa in about 130 BC. Oroi founded a small state ruled by their chieftains with the title of kings, and the district was called after them Orain. The name eventually became Osrain, in assimilation to the Parthian name Osros or Chosros Kosrau. .The Edessene onomastic contains a lot of Arabic names. The most common one in the ruling dynasty of Edessa being Abgar, a well-attested name among Arabic groups of antiquity, the area of the kingdom was perhaps roughly coterminous with that of the Roman province of Osrain. The Great Loop of the Euphrates was a natural frontier to the north and west. In the south Batnay was capital of the semi-autonomous principality of Anthemusia until its annexation by Rome, in AD 115. The eastern boundary is uncertain, it may have extended to Nisibis or even to Adiabene in the 1st century AD. Haran, however, only 40 kilometers south of Edessa, always maintained its independent status as a Roman colonia. Edessa, the capital of the ancient kingdom, was a fortress of considerable strength and a staging post both large and nearest to the Euphrates. It was an important road junction, an ancient highway, along which caravans carried merchandise from China and India to the west, met there a north-south road connecting the Armenian highlands with Antioch. Inevitably, Edessa figured prominently on the international stage. In 64 BC, as Pompey waged war on the Parthian Empire, Abgar II of Osrain had sided with the Romans when Lucius Afrunius occupied Upper Mesopotamia. The king was initially an ally of the Roman general Marcus Licinius Crassus in his campaign against the Parthians in 53 BC, but Roman historians allege that he betrayed Crassus by leading him to deviate from his safe route along the river and instead into an open desert, where the troops suffered from the barrenness and thus were vulnerable to cavalry attack. Abgar is said to have met with Serenas, the Parthian general, and informed him of the Roman movements. The enormous and infamous Battle of Carhae followed and destroyed the entire Roman army. Just prior to the battle, Abgar made a pretext to ride away. However, modern historians have questioned whether Abgar intended to betray the Romans and instead may have simply been leading them along an old Arab trade route. According to a Syriac source, Abgar died later that year. In the early 2nd century AD, King Abgar VII joined the Emperor Trajan's campaign into Mesopotamia and entertained him at court. The king later rebelled against the Romans, however, which led to the Roman general Lucius Quietus sacking Edessa and putting an end to Osrin's independence in 116. In 123, during the reign of Hadrian, the Abgarid dynasty was restored with the installation of Manu VII, and Osrain was established as a client kingdom of the empire. After the Roman Parthian War of 161 to 166 under Marcus Aurelius, forts were built and a Roman garrison was stationed in Nisibis, now In 195, following a civil war in which the kingdom had supported his rival Pescennius Niger, Septimius Severus mounted an invasion and annexed the territory as a new province, making Nisibis the capital. However, the emperor did allow the king Abgar XI to retain the city of Edessa and a small territory surrounding it. In 213, the reigning king was deposed by Caracalla, and the remaining territory was incorporated into the Roman province of Osrain. By 201 AD or earlier, under King Abgar the Great, Osrain became the first Christian state. It is believed that the Gospel of Thomas emanated from Edessa around 140. Prominent early Christian figures have lived in and emerged from the region such as Tatian the Assyrian, who came to Edessa from Hadiab Adiabine. He made a trip to Rome and returned to Edessa around 172–173. Tatian was the editor of the Diatessaron, which was the primary sacred text of Syriac-speaking Christianity until in the 5th century the bishops Rabula and Theodoret suppressed it and substituted a revision of the old Syriac canonical Gospels as in the Syriac Sinaiticus and Curtonian Gospels, then, Edessa was again brought under Roman control by Decius and it was made a center of Roman operations against the Sasanian Empire. Amru, possibly a descendant of Abgar, is mentioned as king in the Paikuli inscription, recording the victory of Narsa in the Sassanid civil war of 293. 
Historians identify that Amru is Amru ibn Adi, the fourth king of the Lakhmids, which was then still based in Haran, not yet moved to Al Hira in southern Mesopotamia. Many centuries later, Dagalifus and Secundinus, Duke of Azrain, accompanied Julian in his war against the Sasanian emperor, Shapur II, in the 4th century. Rulers <inaudible> 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 Aryu 132 to 127 BC Abdu Bar Mazor 127 to 120 BC Fradhasht Bar Gabaru 120 to 115 BC Bakru I Bar Fradhasht 115 to 112 BC Bakru II Bar Bakru 112 to 94 BC Manu I 94 BC Abgar I Pika 94 to 68 BC Abgar II Bar Abgar 68 to 52 BC Manu II 52 to 34 BC Pakor 34 to 29 BC Abgar III 29 to 26 BC Abgar IV Samaka 26 to 23 BC Manu III Safal 23 to 4 BC Abgar v Akama Bar Manu Abgaris of Edessa 4 BC AD 7 Manu IV Bar Manu AD 7 to 13 Abgar v Akama Bar Manu AD 13 to 50 Manu v Bar Abgar AD 50 to 57 Manu v Bar Abgar AD 57 to 71 Abgar v Bar Manu AD 71 to 91 Sanatruk AD 91 to 109 Abgar 7 Bar Izad AD 109 to 116 Roman Interregnum AD 116 to 118 Yulur AD 118 to 122 co-ruler with Parthamaspates Parthamaspates AD 118 to 123 Manu 7 Bar Izad AD 123 to 139 Manu 8 Bar Manu AD 139 to 163 Wail Bar Saru AD 163 to 165 Manu 8 Bar Manu AD 165 to 167 Abgar 8 AD 167 to 177 Abgar Ix the Great AD 177 to 212 Abgar X Severus Bar Manu AD 212 to 214 Abgar X Severus Bar Abgar Ix Rabo AD 214 to 216 Manu Ix Bar Abgar X Severus AD 216 to 242 Abgar 11 Farhat Bar Manu X AD 242 to 244 Topic See also Edessa Assyria Roman province Serapion of Antioch Roman province <laughs>